so um, we've got a pretty not a very interesting day today um, uh, Daniel has obviously has school um, and Luca has playgroup out of school on Monday morning so yeah we just did that I can insert a little slip snip in here um, I just recorded him playing a little bit <laughs> what do you got What's that? What's that? I'm really interested in that. Can I play? <laughs> You're a big fox. <laughs> and now Luke has fallen asleep in the car, so we'll probably just try to get some cleaning done at home. Um, I don't know if there's anything that interesting to vlog, but I'm trying to get vlogs out even when there's nothing that exciting i'm just trying to vlog more than i have been lately so that's what i'm doing at the moment um so yeah i'm just putting that extra bit of effort to keep, try and get videos out um also got a lot of study to do i've got some scenario briefs due tomorrow and there's three of them and i haven't even started it so i'll be up all night doing that um but yeah i'm just gonna do some cleaning now and um probably prep for my scenario briefs hopefully sleep long enough for me to get that done and we'll see how we go so none of that happened because I am locked out of the house. Um, yeah, so I'm at Scott's work. Hopefully he has a spare key in his car. Um, if he doesn't, then we're going to have to get the locksmith, which really, really sucks. I've dropped off uh, Luca to him with my dad. Um, hopefully not too long because he's got some workers there and he's going to chase after Luca at the same time. Yes, yeah, so I'm really, really stressed. I was hoping to get some prep done for um, my study tonight and um, clear up the house a bit. And none of that's been done. It's just been a really stressful day. So that's just great. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd vlog as we go um, to kind of capture what's going on when it's going on. But it's a bit better than because I always feel like I'm telling you guys what happened rather than vlogging. As I go, which is what I want to start doing a bit more of. So, yeah. So uh, we finally got into the house. Um, <laughs> I had to get keys off Scott. Um, so yeah, I hate wasting his time like that. So I felt really bad. Um, I just thought I'll sit down a little bit and kind of talk to you guys about um, some of the repercussions of um, starting a vlog. And what I mean by repercussions is I mean um, did I say that right? <laughs> um, what I mean is more like the negative side of vlogging um, when it comes to family reactions or even friend reactions, partner reactions, whatever. Um, I uh, was originally going to keep my vlogging off of Facebook. I only really wanted to share it with the vlogging community because um, everyone understands it on there um, and most people that are watching it are also doing it. Um, but I decided to start a uh, Facebook group, kind of get my name out there a bit more and, um, you know, try to get um, good subscribers, um, long time viewers and stuff like that, um, that would care about what I'm putting up. And I decided to share it with a family member. Um, and this family member has obviously taken it really bad. Um, pretty much said, oh, it's really embarrassing. Um, what you're doing is not right. And um, pretty much said I'm obviously um, embarrassing the family. And yeah, okay, that's their opinion and that's okay. But that's not how I see this. Um, I see this more as like, kind of, it's like a blog to me. Like people write all about their daily lives and they put pictures up of their family and stuff like that. The only difference is I'm doing it on video um, and it's kind of storytelling and it's really important. It's probably the first thing in my life that I've started and I completely love and I feel like um, it's, um, it's just perfect for me. I wake up every day and I can't wait to um, edit, um, I can't wait to get my camera out and I feel like it's something for me and um the kids are loving it Daniela's totally um all over it Scott's so supportive and 
obviously uh, vlogging is not for everyone some people have pretty strong opinions about it um, it's obviously opening up your life and family to um, people but a lot of people watching these channels um, are also mums themselves and you know not everyone's gonna look up um, daily mum vlogs you know on YouTube um, it's it's a pretty small niche these sort of videos um, there are risks involved but I I feel like if you are smart about it you can do it um, in a safe way and oh and in a fun way like you can have a lot of fun with it and it's literally changed my life like I've suffered with anxiety in the past and since I've been vlogging I feel like a completely different person I feel like a happier mum I feel like a happier person um, I just love doing something for myself and I know there are going to be negative things out there that's why I only did share it with this one family member who I thought would take it a bit better than um, than what it was taken and that's really sad it's ended up that way but I'm not going to stop vlogging because it's been kind of my light at the end of um, a bit of an anxiety a tunnel and it's really been the thing that's um, helped me and I reckon made me a happier and better person so I'm not gonna stop doing what I love um, and you know what and Scott's happy for me to do it and I just want to tell people that seriously um, sometimes it's best to keep these things off Facebook and away from family because um, not everyone understands you know why you would share your life like this um, what well, I believe it's you know the 21st century and um, we have videos and you know we have these things that um, I just believe I don't know I believe we can use it at our discretion and we can we can make these choices as parents and this is a choice I've made and um, no one's gonna be happy so sometimes you know if you have doubts listen to your own instincts like if you don't think family will take it very well keep it off Facebook keep it away from family just maybe just show the friends you trust or um, you know maybe just um, keep it in the vlogging community for people that are actually interested in that sort of stuff because even maybe some of your friends wouldn't be interested in it like you'd be surprised how many people you might think are supportive of these sort of things that aren't actually supportive and it can be quite judgmental and uh, taken back and um, you know rude about the whole thing so that's just kind of something I want you guys to think about especially people that are um, looking into vlogging um, you know we don't find this weird obviously I'm fine we wouldn't be doing it but there are people out there even you know people that you wouldn't expect to feel that way that do feel that way so anyway, that's just something um, that I'm going through at the moment and I thought I would share with you guys, especially, yeah, those that are looking into vlogging or have just started or been vlogging for ages and not sure if you want to share it on Facebook. Yeah, it's just something to definitely keep in mind. I think I'm going to make some tea now. Downstairs? <laughs> What's 
what's that? Cool. We're just gonna go for a bit of a walk because Luke is really, really silky and we can get out there. Come on then. I've got my big phone in my pants because I don't have a bag. Oh, I've got Luca. Um, and because I'm holding my camera, I can't hold my phone. So we are on the street, but um, it's a pretty quiet street. So um, yeah, we can't always walk along it because this footpath's kind of messed up. <laughs> Literally walking a huge hill, and Luke is doing really well. <laughs> so. Well, exercise, exercise, mum needs it before the wedding. I wanted to say I got these sketches the other day at Harbour Town and it's like seriously not even wearing any shoes. Um, they're kind of like a material and they're so light and it literally feels like you're wearing nothing. It's amazing. Come this way, like. <laughs> Going down a big hill. I like your jacket. You look very cool. I don't think there will be too much more to vlog, so we'll probably finish up um, here and then I can do some editing and get this up for you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the big red subscribe button down the bottom and we'll see you next time. Bye!